comes as Maui's mayor and the man in charge of the county's emergency management agency say they are more equipped to prevent another disaster. Our Chelsea Davis reports. Our team is made up of 79 of our county employees who lost their homes during this fire. Maui County Mayor Richard Bisson says after last year's fatal firestorm, he has made major changes. Among the most notable, the person now in charge of managing county emergencies. Our administrator Amos Lono Kailua Hewitt uh, is a retired battalion chief, comes with lots of experience in terms of uh, being a responder and, and handling emergencies and the team he's put together. We've increased that department by 13. Uh, so we are now uh, in, an, in getting ahead and pre-disaster preparation. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. The former administrator, Herman Undaya, resigned just a week after the inferno that claimed 102 lives and incinerated the beloved town of Lahaina. Lono Kailua Hewitt, born and raised on Maui, whose wife is from Lahaina, says it's more than just a job to him. What comes to my mind, stewards, Kuleana and Ohana. What we can take away from the 2023 wildfires is that we need the whole community to come together to overcome disasters. Since he took over in December, he says he has streamlined coordination and enhanced communication. I encourage everybody to sign up for meme alerts and uh, making sure that we get up to 160 plus thousand people. Everybody can be notified and that would be a reliable source of notifications for us to use to notify the community. And the county has used its notification system during large brush fires recently in upcountry and central Maui. The mayor says he's proud of the progress they've made so far with rebuilding and says they're working to create more affordable housing so the thousands of locals who have left the island can soon return. Me and most of my administration, we're from here. This is our home too. We're not going anywhere. Uh, so our commitment is to our community uh, until the very end. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.